So I'd say this episode kind of went how most of us thought, but um, you know, in the first half, um, we did get more of an insight of Leo's kind of backstory, and you know how he kind of fought in many wars against the demons, and later on, um, how far he went just to fulfill his selfish desire of being needed as the hero Leo by the people and he went so far as to go in one of the old buildings, go to the basement, reconstruct all the equipment that was used to originally create the Demon Heart series or the Little Heart series um, in order pretty much for them to um, be villains and <clears throat> what you said and then I like how the anime kind of also showed the turning point of Leo um, when when Leo kind of noticed like he was doing things just to fulfill his selfish desire of being a hero uh, that he, you know, he went so far as to create the villains himself so he can fight them. But when he realized he kind of um, destroyed everything and he wanted to look for a successor so he can pass down his heart, the Philosopher's Stone, to them. And it wasn't until he found Echidona um, that he, you know, wanted to give the Philosopher's Stone to her because he saw that how she kind of did things on her side, like, uh, you know, no unnecessary killing and, you know, how her goal is to form a bridge of coexistence in between demons and humans. So that was kind of a nice touch. And then, you know, towards the end when um when Echidona kinda uses her hero binding spell um, we just get Leo's inner monologue saying that, you know, basically I just wanted to, wanted people to accept me without being the hero Leo. He just kind of wanted to be accepted for the person he is. And ultimately, you know, he dies. Uh, the generals, you know, help finish him off. Um, but the one thing that kind of I found interesting was while he was binding, he named these people like um, Taurus, Cancer, Aquarius, pretty much most of the Zodiac and said their powers are, you know, being canceled, which was what he wanted. But um, I found it interesting because like, where, like, how did you get these powers from the Zodiac? Supposedly, the Zodiac are supposed to be just constellation in the stars. But since he defeated them, that means they have to be a person. And I wonder, like, um, if we're probably, hopefully, but not, uh, I doubt it, but I want to meet these uh, Zodiacs or the people that have Zodiac names in them because I'm very curious about that part when he named the powers he got from you know Taurus, Cancer, Gemini, Aquarius and so forth um, but um, overall um, I think it was a great episode to watch it was a great kind of episode to finish off the adventures of Leo 
and you know that he died in battle um yeah it was a great watch um breaks I'm kind of excited for next episode because then we'll probably see the aftermath of you know how of aftermath of Kidona getting the philosopher's stone and I want to see how far or how good the improvements are to the demon world after acquiring the philosopher's stone and if Echidona will truly you know coexist or at least be friends to a degree with the humans but uh, yeah that that was kind of the episode very it was fun I liked it I enjoyed it um please leave a like subscribe if you want more and Comment your thoughts and opinions about this episode. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Peace.